Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we have a strengthening Ernesto bringing impacts to the Caribbean, potentially as a major hurricane passing Bermuda, as well as impacts to Newfoundland and Atlantic Canada. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltippets.com for Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. The black arrow is pointing towards Tropical Storm Ernesto, strengthening as we speak, looking a lot better organized today and bringing impacts to the Caribbean islands. Here's the vorticity map showing the energy and spin in the atmosphere of Tropical Storm Ernesto and the two tropical waves that are behind it, but those are not expected to develop at the moment. So here's a close-up view of Ernesto. You can see the nice outflow bands coming from the central core of the system, which is getting stronger as we speak. And it's moving in a west-northwest direction at 18 miles an hour, so slower than yesterday, which was 28 miles an hour. And it's only expected to slow as it continues to eventually turn to the north. As you can see here in the National Hurricane Center's cone of uncertainty. So we're, right now we have winds of 60 miles an hour and it is expected to become a hurricane, potentially even a major hurricane. Here's the spaghetti track guidance models showing the turn to the north and then it's going to go northeast, but then eventually turn north again because we're going to have an interaction with an upper level trough and that turn to the north a second time will be key if it's going to bring any impacts to Canada as it continues trying to go out to sea. Here's the model intensity guidance showing the top end possibility is a Cat 3, one model showing a Cat 4. So let's so see on the models how this can all play out. Here's the GFS 850 millibar cyclonic vorticity. So again, the spin and energy in the atmosphere, 5,000 feet up from the surface of the water. The black hexagon is Ernesto moving through the Caribbean islands. A lot of moisture, so you're going to see a lot of rain today in the Caribbean. And we have this upper level, low, upper level ridge, I'm sorry, overhead. So it's fully developed now. That's going to decrease the wind shear. And we're going to see this storm rapidly intensify, especially once it gets away from the mountains of Puerto Rico. Speaking of Puerto Rico and the Caribbean islands, we could see storm surge in or around St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John, Puerto Rico, uh, up anywhere of one to three feet as the storm passes you by. And all the rain that we could see, upwards of 200 millimeters is possible in that orange. Here's the key messages from the National Hurricane Center regarding Ernesto on the left is in English and on the right is in Spanish. You could pause this to take a chance to read it. So now moving two days from now on Thursday, August 15th, we can see that Ernesto has moved north of the Caribbean. Uh, it's brushing by the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos at this point. So the outer bands will be affecting you. So you could see some tropical storm force winds as this moves to your east. We're going to have this storm still strengthening because we're going to have that upper level ridge. So we're down to a 972 millibar low pressure system. It's definitely hurricane strength at that point. Wind shear will be decreasing and we'll still have that strong moisture bubble thanks to that low wind shear plowing right through the middle of that Saharan air layer, as you can see, splitting it in two. And it's moving north, like I said, because we have this upper level trough digging into our Bermuda Azores High. So it's creating that valley, that weakness in the ridge for it to move northward. So here we are four days from now on Saturday, August 17th. You can see that it's going to be very close to Bermuda, but on this forecast, it, the center of the storm looks to go just to the west of the island, but that, depending on how close it is, you could see direct impacts from the eye wall, but not actually have the eye go over Bermuda. So that is a possibility. It still is a strong hurricane right here, probably a Cat 2. As it passes by Bermuda, it could be even stronger as we're going to have that interaction with the upper level trough and the upper level ridge creating that uh, vertical uh, streak of uh, 
exhausting air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So now we're down to a 966 millibar low pressure system. As you can see here, very strong hurricane as it's passing by Bermuda. This would be on day five on Sunday, August 18th. If you look at the mid levels of the atmosphere, we'll have another, we'll have that second upper level trough just to its north and west and rebuilding high pressure just to its north and east. So that could potentially steer this storm a little bit to the left. That's why we're going to see that secondary northward push instead of just going directly northeast out back into the ocean and bring it closer potentially to land. As you can see here on day seven next week, Tuesday, August 20th, where we have a brush close by of Ernesto of Atlantic Canada. And at this point, it would be extra tropical. The storm would be weakening and uh, it'll be in cooler waters. So we wouldn't expect it to be a hurricane at this point, but still have hurricane-like impacts as everyone in Canada and Newfoundland in this region know. Here's the European model showing that this uh, interaction with the upper level trough is not as strong on the, on the GFS. So this one actually stays out to sea uh, and goes to the east of Bermuda uh, instead of the west of Bermuda. So Bermuda, you hope that either one of these is correct because direct impacts would be away from you on either side of the island and not going directly over you, but you're still gonna see impacts regardless. Here's the ensemble models showing where this storm can go over the next seven days. And you can see the very widespread nature after that first turn to the north, where this could go, uh, either directly over Bermuda to its west, to its right, and then potentially impacting Newfoundland and Atlantic Canada in about a week's time. So we'll continue to monitor Tropical Storm Ernesto potentially uh, with impacts to Bermuda and Canada, especially as it tries to go out to sea. And if this will become our next major hurricane, racking up a lot of ace points like we saw with Beryl. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on the ciphering weather. So if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you do like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day and be safe if you're in the Caribbean right now.